Well, hello, friends. It's Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom Bee Pow Picks Edition. Yes, and uh, I'm getting a lot of letters from people saying, you haven't did the last two games on YouTube. And all of the, I, well, I gave them out to my Patreon members. I'm just very busy with my show. You can check it out three to five, uh, five days a week. Today, it's Friday today. Uh, it'll be my June eighteenth, um, and we're gonna give you picks for the t the games tonight. And because you got all these letters from Alicia, uh, Barry from uh, Orlando, Florida, um, Lee, uh, Lean Lean Tia Lean Tia from Czech Republic, uh, all over the all over the land, you got lots of letters. I'm gonna give you picks for. Tonight, the 18th, and the 19th. I'm going to give you both. There. That should make up for it a little bit, right? Oh, yeah. As you can see in my background here, we got the Canadians in Montreal tonight. Uh, Montreal and Vegas tonight. Now, this series is a barn burner. And they're both going to be traveling from, uh, if you, uh, traveling from Vegas to Montreal. Okay. Montreal had to make the travel there and the travel back. I'll tell you the honest truth, this is a really difficult game to cap. Um, I, I could see a lot of things happening here. Uh, Vegas hasn't really made this trip this year. This is the first time they made this trip. Montreal's a little more used to it playing in the in the uh, North Division. They had to do a lot of travel like this. Now, you look, and look at this two ways. You can say, well, Montreal's used to it. So they have the upper hand, or you can look at it as they've had to do it more, and they're going to be more tired in this game. Uh, so both of them uh, make this a very difficult game to cap. Vegas also is without Chandler Stevenson. It looks like, again, that's really tough for them up the middle um, in their center position. They were playing Kolasar on the top line. That is not ideal, to say the least. So, um, I had it to begin with. I had it that Montreal would probably win this game simply because of the travel for Vegas and they're going to be on the road and they can get that added energy from being in Montreal. Honestly, though, I think it's going to be a coin flip. That's where uh, that's what I'm looking at. Um, I, I think it's going to be a coin flip game, difficult to choose. Now, normally, I would take the the dog on a coin flip but i think i'm going to go the odds here you, take the dog on the on 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 a coin flip if you wish but i think i'm going to go with the odds and we'll bring the odds up here uh for both games uh and uh we'll look at what we may do and why First of all, okay, tired legs. I think the best play here, you got both teams playing on tired legs. Uh, I think Vegas is going to try to push hard in the uh, in the first period. Um, there's a good possibility that they could run out of legs in the second and third periods here. Uh, <clears throat> in which case, you could take Vegas, Vegas in the first period. Um, However, with these teams being so close together on tired legs, I think Montreal is going to hold on here a little bit. Um, they came out hard the last game. I think they have a defensive advantage at home against Vegas with a little more heavier legs than normal, so possibly not enough speed, not as much speed as they normally have. Uh, if, they, they, if they get once they get through the barrage in the first period, especially like the first five minutes, I think this will start to taper off and become a pretty defensive battle. So I'm liking the under five at 221 if you go to bet online um, for, for medium pearls. And for the, ve for, for the actual line, I'm not going to play it safe here to tell you the honest truth. Um, I think I'm going to go Montreal on the spread at 151. You're only getting half your money back, but um, it's probably the greatest odds of that you can get for the money that you can get. 
I'd say it's about an 80% chance this is a one goal game. Where I think it's about a 50-50 chance of who wins the game. In which case you're coin flipping and I would take the big odds on Montreal at 244. So you can make up your mind on that one. I like to play it safe. I'm going to take Montreal on the puck line and the under. Tampa Bay versus the New York Islanders. I'll give you Saturday, June 19th game as well. Um, the New York Island, Tampa Bay played really well this last, the last game. Um, the New York Islanders, I can't see them winning two, losing two at home, even against a great Tampa Bay team. Um, I think I'm going to take the Islanders money line here. Again, this is kind of coin flippish, but I do, I'm going to trust Barry Trotz to come out with uh, a new angle against Tampa Bay. This is one where I feel like the Islanders really have to have. And if they, if uh, Barry Trotz, I'm sure, has something in his back pocket that Tampa Bay doesn't see coming. And this would be the game to do it at home here. Um, so I'm going to take the Islanders, and I'm going to stick with the under on this uh, series. It's just two great goaltenders, uh, str- a very strategic type game. I took the over last time, and I burnt myself I'm not going to do that anymore if I'm wrong on the under uh, it is uh, probably an aberration I, I these the way these two teams are playing right now the way this is turning into a defensive strategy type game uh, type series I think the under is the best play so I'm going to go under five on this one as well as much as I, I'm usually not on under fives and again bet online is giving you the best odds at 212. And I'm going to take uh, the Islanders' money line for plus money. Uh, Feel free to come over and go to the Patreon. We got tennis picks. Tennis picks, I'm running about 50% right now. But don't worry, I'll figure that out. I usually run about 70 or 80%. Uh, And we've got a whole lot of UFC stuff coming up that we're hitting really well on. Uh, and I'll give you a month for free to check it out. Have fun. Have some frolic that way. That's my full 42. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll send you a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom Necklace Pearlocopter to your door by Hernandez or Melissa. You can even choose it if you want. Put it in the comment section. Also in the comment section, tell me who you're picking. Let's have some fun down there. Have a great day. Okay, bye.